Good morning, brethren. Good morning. This morning I wanted to share some considerations with you concerning edifying the body of Christ. To edify means to build up or to strengthen. It can also mean to instruct or to improve someone spiritually. When we come together, it is for the purpose of edifying one another. In 1 Corinthians, we are exhorted to let all things be done unto edifying. In 1 Thessalonians, we are told to edify one another. And in Romans, we are told to follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Brethren, to come together for any reason but to edify one another is a vain gathering, and it cannot profit the body of Christ. My main text today will be found in uh, John chapter 21, and this is the account when Jesus appears to his disciples after he has risen from the dead, and this is the third time that he's appeared to them. The disciples have been fishing all night and have caught nothing. Jesus is standing on the shore of the Sea of Tiberias, and he calls out to them, and he says to them, Children, have ye any meat? And they answer him, No. They had to admit that their labors thus far had been in vain. But as soon as Jesus arrives, their situation is going to change. Likewise, any work that, that we do that is not centered around Christ will be vain, and it w will not be productive, and in the end it will end up wearing you out, so that you will be weary and have nothing to show for it. But when Jesus is in the work, then it is productive. See how productive their day is going to become. Jesus said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. And they cast therefore, and now they, there were not, they were not able to draw it in for the multitude of fishes. Now, even though they did not at once recognize him, Jesus is still going to intervene here and give them what they have been toiling for all this time. As they cast their nets, their nets become filled with a great catch of fish. Altogether, there were 153, it calls them great fishes. So these are not little minnows. These were great fishes. So heavy that they could not even carry them into the boat. They had to get into a smaller boat and drag them to shore. And it's at this point that John, the, the disciple whom Jesus loved, John the Beloved, recognizes Jesus. And remember, he was there on the day when Jesus called them, and he... This, there was a very similar account in the scriptures about this, and uh, Peter, James, and Peter, James, and John were there, and so no doubt John was remembering this. And it's when we remember what the Lord has done, it sharpens us so that we're able to to recognize when He works. Now later, after they've hauled in their catch of great fish, they find Jesus waiting on the seashore. And he's built them a fire of coals, and he's laid fish thereon and bread. Jesus is preparing them a meal in order that they would be strengthened, edified in their bodies. But Jesus is going to call them to enter into this work as well. He's going to invite the disciples to enter into the preparation of this meal. Amen. See how gracious the Lord is? Amen. He's given them this great catch of fish so that they could have something to contribute to the meal. Yes. In this manner, he is teaching them and us as well a valuable lesson concerning edification. Just as Jesus has fed the disciples, they will be called upon to feed the flock of God. Three times Jesus asks the question to Simon Peter, lovest thou me? And three times he commands Peter, feed my sheep. You will find that love and edification are interwoven with each other. 
In 1 Corinthians, we are told that charity edifieth. And Jesus said in John 14, 21, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. And in 1 John 4, verses 20 and 21, it says, If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. Remember, brethren, that to edify means to build up, to strengthen, and to improve. Who would not do these things for the one that they love? Those who love the Lord will seek to edify the church. They will do all things unto edifying. This is how the, breth- the brethren express their love for one another. They edify one another. They sharpen one another as iron sharpens iron. They seek to do one another good. They seek to strengthen one another in the faith. Now, in conclusion, Jesus provided this great catch of fish for the disciples so that they could contribute and participate in the meal that he had prepared for them. But they had to labor to bring in that catch of fish. Remember, they had been laboring all night. They were no doubt very weary come morning. But when Jesus showed up, they had the strength to be able to cast their nets and to bring in this great, heavy catch of fish. Mm-hmm. There is a strengthening power in the anticipation of being with Jesus. It enables the weary pilgrim to endure unto the end. Amen. As we prepare to meet with our brethren, the Lord provides us with something, each in our own measure, to contribute so we can all participate in the edifying of the body of Christ. We can all help build one another up. We can strengthen one another in our faith. You can be sure that there will be labor involved. But we can joyfully enter into this labor with anticipation of hearing the master say to us, come and dine. Mm -hmm.